With breaking news in the race for president, and it comes just three days before the high-stakes Republican primary in South Carolina. A new national poll moments ago showing someone other than Donald Trump leading nationally. And South Carolina's hugely popular governor, Nikki Haley, just moments ago endorsing someone else. Haley making it clear she wants Senator Marco Rubio to be the Republican nominee. And that new national poll tonight showing Senator Ted Cruz ahead of Donald Trump, 28 percent to Donald Trump's 26 percent. A statistical dead heat, but it's the first time Cruz is on top. Marco Rubio at 17 percent. Another poll earlier today showed Trump still ahead, but these new numbers, just as we come on the air tonight, could reveal late momentum before this crucial primary. And ABC's Tom Yamas is live in South Carolina to lead us off tonight. Tom? David, good evening to you tonight. Donald Trump loves to brag about those polls, but tonight he won't be bragging about that latest national poll, which for the first time in months shows he's not on top. And tonight, his troubles don't end there. Help me welcome the next president of the United States. Let's go to the polls on Saturday and move that down the way. Marco Rubio. Tonight, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley standing with Senator Marco Rubio and against Donald Trump. Every day is a great day in South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, if we elect Marco Rubio, every day will be a great day in America. I'm so honored that she chose to join our team and, and because she embodies for me everything that I want the Republican Party and the conservative movement to be about, everything that it is about. Nikki Haley gave a speech a couple of weeks ago. Donald Trump tonight didn't even mention the endorsement. She's very, very weak on illegal immigration. You can't have that. Governor Haley, who has an 81 percent approval among South Carolina Republicans, has been sounding the alarm on Trump for months. Just yesterday, saying Trump was out of line to knock President Bush over his handling of 9-11. I took my daughter to her first debate on Saturday, and I mean, I was embarrassed to see a candidate criticize a president on one of the worst days that we've had in American history. All South Carolina's key Republican players now lining up against Trump. Haley and Senator Tim Scott with Rubio, Senator Lindsey Graham in Jeb Bush's camp, today trashing the billionaire. I think he's a kook. I think he's crazy. I think he's unfit for office. Trump says Graham's the crazy one. The guy is a nut job. I could push him over with a little thimble. Boom. This guy knows, let me tell you, this guy knows nothing. And now Trump taking on Senator Ted Cruz, the candidate who could be his toughest competition. And for the first time in many months... There's a new national front runner on the Republican side. Trump's lawyers sending Cruz's campaign a cease and desist letter over this ad. I am pro-choice in every respect. We cannot trust Donald Trump. Trump claiming the ad is replete with outright lies, false, defamatory, and destructive statements. In the annals of frivolous lawsuits, this takes the cake. But Cruz, a battle-tested lawyer, says he's ready. One of the things I look forward to most of all is deposing Donald Trump. So I may take the deposition myself. And Tom Yamas back with us live. Tom, I want to get back to that key endorsement moments ago from Governor Nikki Haley. Former President George W. Bush met with her in recent days, clearly pushing for an endorsement of his brother, Jeb. Any reaction from the Bush camp tonight? Yes, there is, David. Tonight, Jeb says he's disappointed that Governor Haley is a good person and a good governor, and he's trying to spin the news in a positive way, saying that when he wins the nomination, she will have a role in his campaign. But, David, the bad news doesn't end there for Jeb tonight. That new national poll has him at 4%. David? Tom Yamas leading us off again tonight. Tom, thank you.